soon get support if their livelihoods are affected. The labor movement says details will be out later. It is also working on other ways to help riders struggling financially, even with more delivery orders not translating into better earnings for many. Heidi Ng reports. With dining out banned, delivery platforms are going all out to cash in on the deluge of orders. YQ, which serves hawkers, doubled its rider fleet to 2,000 bikers to get ready for the tightened measures. And Food Panda has been dishing out incentives to get more riders on board. Last year, we have seen a growth in maybe 50%, 40% of the, of the, in the total rider fleet. Uh, now, over the last days, we have seen a huge inflow of uh, new and existing riders coming back to the platform. We increased the incentive for referrals, new joiners, and for returning riders. Um, for existing riders, we also have a, a we also have an attractive uh, incentive uh, fees for the for for the peak uh, hours. But in a bid to meet more demand, some riders say the space is getting too crowded. They thought there's a lot of orders, so there's a lot of riders. So that's when uh, we don't receive a lot of orders. Lah. Yeah, we expected there will be more orders because of this uh, like this semi-breakdown, uh, lockdown. Lah. But then in reality, it's not. So we have to work a bit more longer hours to earn about the same amount instead. Uh, normally, I do like office hour, lah. like 8 to 5 or 8 to 6, then I stop my work. Then what about now? Because now, you now I have to work until 9. It doesn't help that some have to wait up to three times longer or more than an hour at some food vendors which are struggling with orders. Such delays eat into these riders' earnings since it means fewer deliveries done in a day. One expert says companies won't benefit if they only take in riders when the need arises. Instead, incentives such as health insurance should be given to retain them. We don't want the unemployment statistics to fluctuate dramatically because people are moving in and out of the gig economy, and that's not a good thing. So the, it's, the incentives will be, will be on the private sector to retain these workers because hiring and retention is very costly for the private sector. For now, riders are getting respite from measures such as longer grace period for parking and places to rest in malls. Meantime, the labour movement is working with its National Delivery Champions Association to help riders financially. We actually have looked uh, at options, right, both at the NTUC side, which is the care fund side. We're working together with the association now to actually come up with forms of support should um, our riders, right, catch um, COVID-19 and it affects their livelihoods as well as their families in adverse ways. Um, so, you know, we will be looking at making an announcement quite soon about that. At the same time, the association is also working on other ways to help riders make ends meet. Still to come, caring for migrant workers with a focus on mental health. The June school holidays will soon be here, but staycations might not be what families have planned. There was a huge man on for this man. Podcast producer Rovick Roberts investigates a mysterious murder from the past. This is a spicy case. Spicy, spicy. To understand how Singapore turned from a city of vice. Singapore was the Chicago of the East. Clashes and shootings were rampant. Into one of the safest in the world. When the caning started, holy smoke, it was a game changer. Into the Vault 3, Wednesday on CNA.
CNA Leadership Summit, the human cost of the climate crisis will become even greater. A timely conversation on one of the biggest challenges facing the world today. Sustainability is a collective goal. It requires various stakeholders from the public and private sector to come together and work closely. Observing stringent safety measures, business leaders and decision makers gathered physically and virtually to discuss collective actions for a green recovery. The ecosystem around sustainable investment involves academics, policymakers, private sector investors. When we look into our sustainability, we take note of the entire value chain and ecosystem. This summit is a good platform for us to exchange ideas and good practices across various industries. A big thank you to all the panellists and participants at this year's CNA Leadership Summit. Organised by MediaCorp. Official car partner, BMW. We're going to be 10 billion people from the current 7 billion in just the next couple of decades. So little land with so many mouths to feed. The climate is collapsing. Every day we are facing new challenges. Asia's food security is a breaking point. We need to innovate in order to provide sufficient food for people in the world. There are great, great challenges in front of us, and only the future will tell us how successful we are going to be. These are the people racing to feed the world. I would say 80% of them said I was crazy. Itu diwujudkan saat semester akhir kuliah. So, we thought that we had a technology in real time when we came market. Mein lane ke liye. Aur, it was the point for us. It's the first catch the meat, but it was in China. That's magic. Do I want to come to a situation where my children are going to ask me, so you knew all of this stats, yet you haven't done anything about it. Race to Feed the World, premiering 31st of May, Monday on CNA. Current passenger flights operating between Singapore and India are for people returning home. Most travellers entering the country are returning citizens and permanent residents. Singapore's Transport, Foreign Affairs and Manpower Ministries said this in a joint statement responding to queries on why flights are still arriving from India. These flights are chartered by the Indian government, but those who need to return to Singapore can also be allowed on board. All such flights operate out of Terminal 1. Each day, about 180 passengers leave for India, while about 25 passengers arrive from India. These passengers will have to take two COVID-19 tests on arrival at Changi Airport and will be escorted to a stay-home notice facility where they will stay for 21 days. Authorities are working with NGOs on the mental well-being of migrant workers. Manpower Ministries ACE Group is keeping a close eye during this current phase of heightened alert, with many activities being limited. We need to remain vigilant in protecting our migrant workers so that they are not infected by the community transmissions. The ACE Group is also working with community partners to organise virtual activities to keep all of our migrant workers engaged. These include online contests and causes to support their mental and uplift their social wellness. Our mom offices are also on the lookout for distressed migrant workers who may require assistance. Dr Tan was speaking during a virtual May Day celebration organised by the Labour Movement at the Migrant Workers Centre. Around 20,000 care packs will be given out to migrant workers. The PAP Women's Wing and Young PAP will be presenting a joint paper to the government on women's issues in a few months' time. They hope the recommendations will be considered as the government develops a white paper on women's issues. Singapore will mark the 60th anniversary of the Women's Charter tomorrow. Chairperson of the PAP's Women's Wing, Josephine Teo, and Chairman of Young PAP, Janelle Puticherry, pointed out that the pandemic has increased stresses that women face at home and at work. Since January this year, the two groups have engaged Singaporeans via surveys and focus groups, receiving more than 1,500 comments. The paper is set to address how to enable women by having more choices at work and at home, how to rally society to advance women's development, and how to promote equal sharing of caregiving responsibilities. 
looking at um, putting in recommendations at how to strengthen the support for caregivers, um, understanding that there are now a lot more families who are in the sandwich groups having to take care of young children as well as the elderly. How can we alleviate this burden a lot better? There's been always, there's been efforts, 